God, my chin. I didn't know that Pete could stun that hard. It was nuts. Why is it every time in a special something like that happens? All I tried to do was give the colored folk what I thought they wanted. I pulled my pants down by my thighs and walked around. Isn't that what they normally do? Ugh. But I haven't even had a chance to get dressed yet. I got a table match next. I got to be up against Moops, Staples, and Cartoon Guy, whoever he is. All right, so I got I got a table for Moops. I got a table for Moops. Uh, Arkham, Batman, I mean Arkham, I got a table for him. Uh, staples, two tables maybe for Staples? Oh god, I wish there was someone around that could help me figure out how to put big three people through tables. My Sage. old partner, how are you? I hear you're looking to think of a way to put big people through tables. Yes, actually I am. I'm the man. All I'll right, you are. I have gone through many tables. I can I'm tell hurting. you right now. Okay. You can get a cha you can do a chaos effect through them. He might kill me for it, but all right. Okay. Yeah. You can do a chaos effect. You can you can take you know make him do a flare bump through the table. All right. All right. Or you could do the time to die right through a all table. Right, this guy's not around anymore, so I, could, I suppose I could do. Oh uh, wait, could I just like lay him on a table and tap him in if he goes through it, just from his own weight? That would work, right? It happened. So cool. All right, cool. I think I'm ready to go. Thanks for the help. Gonna win tonight. I'm going to win Vixen's championship. Why? Well, I didn't even finish my hair. Anyway, tonight, Legacy Tables Match 2011. You know, I've been in three of them, one, two of them. I've also eliminated the most people in the history of the Lictum. But tonight, Staples, Arkham, and Shane are all going through the table. So the new kids on the block. <laughs> I got a legend in Moops. I got a legend in Staples. And I got some dancer <laughs> named Shane White Jr. <laughs> this noob, you don't take lightly. All three of you get put through a table. <laughs> and then I move on to face either Garbo or CVZ. <laughs> Garbo, I hope it's you. I don't forget that Alabama slam. <laughs> And then the asylum comes to WAW. <laughs> you know, it's Legacy 2011, and, uh, you know, things don't seem right with me right now. You know, I don't know what it is about tonight, but I have a weird feeling that moops. <laughs> You're going to be put through a table, buddy. I'm sorry to say you may have been a multiple champion, multiple Legacy champion. But tonight that ends. The following contest is a legacy championship table match with four competitors fighting to be the legacy champion. And they will get a title shot and a match they are choosing at Annihilation. A competitor is eliminated by bringing them to the table. Entry first, from the asylum in Gotham, New York, Arkham! Well, he may be a bit of a comic books uh, freak. However, Young Kid has done very well for himself so far in the WAW, even if he does wear pajama pants. <laughs> From Wellesley, Massachusetts, already pre-prepped for himself, is Shane White Jr. Oh, God. You know, I'm actually amazed, Jason. I didn't think there was a human being on this planet who could take a sexy Pete Stunner and still walk away. Stop 
Christmas is GoPro Tricycles! Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. Staples has not been happy lately. Losing the pure title. Getting an upset pick, a loss against them. And now he's in the biggest match of Legacy, the tables match. With Shane White and uh, Arkham, or Arkham. From West Point, New York, the sister of rage, Major Wall Street Thrifty! And while I would put money on Staples cleaning the walls with Arkham and Shane White, he is up against the machine, the Abrams Tank, Major Morpheus Marisi! Now this is a table match, Jason, and uh, it's not just any tables match. This is the legacy. This is championship the table, table match. match. Which means fast four quarter action going on here. Arkham got caught up there a second by Joey Staples, but similar Wait. action for Major Morpheus Valencia and Shane White Jr. Again, these men, you go through a table, you are out. And if Arkham, I will give credit to, he is in the ring with three veterans. Very big feather in his cap if he gets the victory. Fast start to the match. And Shane, Shane taking Lane. a powder as usual. And no, nowhere for the, him to go. Arkham now in the corner getting worked over. I always wonder about Shane if he's ever actually worked for a dollar in his life. I mean, I know he's rich. But um, has he ever I, actually earned a dollar? I think the do only dollars he earns is when Daddy comes home late at night. You know, he's a little drunk and he slips into little Shaney's bedroom. Okay, that's enough. Okay, yeah, I suppose. That that was a little uncalled for. Oh, Lord, I apologize. But Arkham now, Arkham and Staples. Shane moves on the outside. And now Arkham gets ahead of steam. Nope. But action everywhere. Arkham acrobatic as can be. Matching up against Staples technical gifts. And now Arkham over the top rope. Splash. Staples, by the way, one of the most well-rounded wrestlers in the history of WAW. There's nothing he can't do. He can fly, he can grapple. The man is a living Swiss Army knife. You try to hit him with a submission move, he's got one for you. You try to high, fl high fly, he's on over you. You try to power him, doesn't do it. He doesn't feel pain, he just gets angry. Shane's setting up an early table, the first to do so in this match. Setting it up on the outside. His intended target appearing to be none other than the system of rage. But Arkham and Wait a minute. Hold on. Arkham now. Holding on for dear life. And again, this could get switched around very easily by Arkham to take Staples out. Once those tables are out. And he's going for a suplex. No. Can he do it? No. He does not have the strength to get Staples over. King Kong Bundy doesn't have the strength to get Staples out. What are you talking about? That's what the gym's for, bud. Oh, my God. Major Morpheus for Red Oh! <laughs> and wait a minute, Arkham high flying, but gets caught. Hold on, Staples now. I mean, look at the power here. Doesn't quite get it, but hold. And now Arkham out on the apron again. Dangerous place to be. Shane leading moves around. Shane taking a tour down the row, and Staples and Arkham still fighting on that apron. Ding. Staples measuring Arkham. Oh god, double underhook. Is looking. Oh my god! Oh my god! Sit down, powerbomb! Powerbomb through the table. Arkham is out of this contest. He is out of this.
this world? What are you talking about? Staples broke the goddamn light speed at when he hit that one. Someone got a holy feces chant from the audience. That table <laughs> is destroyed. Markham is no longer a question of this match. Coming down to Major Morpheus Morenci, Joey Staples, and Shane White Jr. And fans might not realize this, Shane, he makes appearances once in a while. But according to what I've heard, and I am the TMZ of WAW. Yes. Major Morpheus Morenci is back. The retirement oh my is God. off. Yep. Reports of his death have been greatly exaggerated, and he is here to get gas and take names. Reports of his death. You can't kill Major Morpheus Morenci. He's a flesh-covered ro robot sent from the future. He's a machine. Tree of wall. The Terminator setting up. Big elbow. Big shoulders. And oh! By the way, the locker room can call this the Moose Combo, and this is the worst part. Yeah! The salute! He's, he is going to be singing the high note in the national anthem after that one. Well, Shane never was much of a singer, but he can dance. Major Morpheus Morency might have put the kibosh on his dancing career, though, because he's going to be walking funny after that one. He's certainly not going to be doing the horizontal tango anytime soon. But another table set up. We could be seeing one of these Shane now fighting back. But what's that going to do? You can hear the clang from here. Oh no, big shot. Oh god! You know, there is, uh, I mean, I hate to state the obvious, like, uh, it was Madden or something, but there's two strategies going on in the table match. One, to get your opponent through a table. Two, to avoid going through a table. Shane setting up that table could actually cost him. Indeed, and that's the problem. This can, this match can turn around, as poor Arkham found out, this match can turn around any second on you. Moves see. off the ropes, big boot. Oh no. Morenci looking for a three-peat. Oh god! He's not to be had. Shane White Jr. is a wild card in this match, an X Factor, if you will. <laughs> People are not going to look at him as the winner, but you know what? This guy can pull out some pretty amazing true, stuff. True, true enough. Like so many, he may look a little on the funny side, but there is a heart of a savage under there. He will do whatever it takes. Legal, illegal, doesn't matter. If not painfully arrogant, he is ruthless. And he is ready to dive. And wait a minute, Staples now saving moves and attacking Shane. Uh oh. That, that might have been a mistake. That might. Shane trying to fight back with what he can, but. I mean, that, I get that Staples wants to eliminate Shane, but he's going to have to eliminate himself. These men hanging on a thread, headbutts. And wait a minute, Shane getting Staples out of the way. He landed hard on that hip on the apron, the surgically repaired hip. And now Moops. Oh no. Look at the power through the table. And Shane is going to go wee, wee, wee all the way home. Back to daddy. Sorry, I got caught up in the moment. That is okay. We are, we are down to two. Count them, two. And if it's going to be a good match, it's going to be between these two. Bulletproof Joey Staples, Major Morpheus Morenci, the experience, the power, the skill. You're looking at two of the best in WWE the, history. The best of the best. But there's a vital difference between these two. All right. Joey Staples is a Grand Slam champion. Indeed. But there is a championship on the line right here and now that he has not won. And Major Morpheus Morenci is a two-time, two-time legacy champion. He is a veritable master of tables matches. Staples can make so many mistakes right now, and Morenci will capitalize on any and all of them. Well, we're going to find out. Both men sizing each other up. Morph going for a show of respect. And, nope, big right hands traded back and forth. Staples traded the uh, handshake for a respectful punch in the face, and they're trading off chops now. Well, they understand, again, there are no friends in this match. However, they may respect each other. However, well, they did work together last week. It's every man for himself, and wait. Bottom line is this. Legacy champion goes on to annihilation to main event, challenge the WWE champion for the biggest, most prestigious title in the company, the one that was on the line in November of 1998. The same championship that has made stars in about a WAW wrestlers. Going for some boots, not getting it. 
You gotta wear out your opponent before you're gonna be able to put him through a table. Nobody just nobody just allows themselves to be put through a table. Indeed not. However, there's no tables out available at this point. If Staples is smart, if Moose is smart, they will try to work on each other. And hold on. They're getting worn out here. It's really just a matter of somebody setting up a table and putting the other guy through it. They're getting worn oh, out. God. And they both have a part to pick on science. And this is the scientific wrestler right here in Joey Staples. He's targeting the surgically repaired shoulder of Morenzi. Morenzi can target the surgically repaired hip of Joey Staples. Well, off the ropes, here we go. If he gets the opportunity, reversal, he might have it. Big clothesline. Knocking Staples' heads off, head off. And in the locker room, we all refer to that as applesauce. Major Morpheus Morenci, the infamous for a too high clothesline, catches you right in the Adam's apple and makes applesauce of it. And let me tell you something. When that happens to you, you can't breathe. You're gasping for breath. It feels like your whole throat is caved in. All you want is a little bit of oxygen, and it is denied. And if that happens, of course, you lose a little oxygen to that brain. You don't think straight. You stop strategizing. You start just working on instinct. And Major Amorphous Morinzi is not a creature of instinct. He is a methodical, machine-like. He will work uh, on a list, one, two, three, down it to damage you. And now the table set up. Looks like Morph's going to try to go put him into the corner. This is a great strategy, and I tell guys this all the time. When you're in a table match, the time it takes to set up a table and put a guy through it, you can set it up in the corner, send him in just as well. And, and oh my God! Crush her out of nowhere! Now normally this would be a probably a pin, but no. No pins in this match. Nope. Break wood or you go home. And morph. Oh boy. Oh, cannonball. Oh no. And Amine Patre and Fili at Spiritus Sancti. Cannonball! Staples through the table! It doesn't count! It doesn't count! You have to put your opponent through a table. If he puts himself through the table, it does not count. Oh this my match god. continues. I don't know how it can continue. Staples hit that thing like a freight train. There are no suicides in a legacy oh championship my god. tables match. If Major Morpheus Morency is not responsible for the fall, it doesn't count. Red guy watching intently, and he is the one determining factor to say, yes, that man put that other man through a table. Did not happen right here. And jump through tables all day, all day long, but I tell you what, that had to take something out of staples because it does not feel good going through a table. These tables were not designed no. to break. They, <laughs> they were to be not. Made out a nice office party and have a buffet. To last. Had, put some scones on there, some croissants, perhaps <laughs> a uh, meat and cheese. Uh, all right, you're making me hungry. But the Make point is, uh, no, no kidding. All right, but anyway, Morph Morpheus now going for table number two. What are the tables where that came from? Legacy comes stocks. This is the biggest show of the year. We don't have a limited number of tables. We don't say there's four guys, we're going to nope. have three tables. No, we got plenty to spare because stuff like that happens. Well, that was a miscalculation on Staples' part. It can't, one at it can't happen too often. You can only blow that so many times before you pass out. And now Morpheus, God, look at the power. Hold on, meltdown. Boiling point, actually. But, oh, uh, boiling point. My, uh, my, I'm sorry. And again, he's, been, he's been out of there. This is followed by a pin attempt, but not in a tables match. No. Nope. He's got to put that man through that table, which is set up precariously outside of the ring. In it, so you know what that means. Well, it does mean, however, as I said earlier, as Arkham found out earlier, this can turn smart. on you any second. Staples is smart. He didn't hang out on the apron. Exactly. Where thrown out onto the table. Oh, but he's just said much risk here. All right, can he get Staples up on that table? The table wants to break. It's bowed a little bit in the middle. Hold on. Wait. Morph, I guess, we're trying to go for the power bomb, ends up getting a low blow. Completely legal, there are no disqualifications. And another one. I'm pretty sure Serena's gonna need to help him later on with that. Red guy was watching that the whole time, doesn't make a difference. And now, oh, God! That was a heel directly to the temple. You know what that does? That it makes it screws. Yeah, it screws your brain up. There's a it, lot of nerves right if there. It's ever happened to you? And maybe you know you've hit, you've hit your head hard. It just mm -hmm. instant stars, instant dizziness and confusion. That is something that you absolutely do not want to be experiencing. And in where the midst is of the tables match? Where is Staples going here? He could he could easily capitalize on this. I'm I'm just as confused myself. What? There's got to be some. Wait up! There's got to be. He, some he's got duct around. tape. What? What's he confused before? Now I'm even more bad. Uh, what is he gonna do with the duct tape? I mean, it's not like Morph is a big talker, so putting it over his mouth ain't gonna do anything. Um, 
his breathing, which would be pretty important. All right, I'll buy that. Maybe bind his hands. What the? Oh, rubbing his face on that brick wall. Yeah, that doesn't feel good. It's like sandpaper. Sandpaper, nothing. And now big hits by Joey Staples again. This man does not feel pain. You hit him, it just makes him angry. And Mooks, again, still seeing stars probably. Staples, I will, I will put over his, his uh, strategy all day. Like, the, the man is a born strategist. Indeed. But he's also unorthodox, so I can't explain the methodology here. I don't know. Uh, I got nothing. Well. Hold on. Oh. Oh, my God. What, okay. What? I get it. This has to be a first. At Legacy 10, the tables match has now become a duct tape tables match. He's taping him down to that table. There's nowhere to go. Oh, God. I, I have taken those chops. They do not feel good. Guy's got a brick for a hand. Of course, sometimes you get a guy on a table, you go up to the top rope, you go for your move, the guy moves, you end up putting yourself through a table. Staples has already put himself through a table once, he doesn't want to do it again. Evidently not, and... What? So he's that, taking that? the Spider-Man approach, webbing him to the table, and like Spider-Man going up high. Oh no. And this oh, I would not want to be... I will want to be... Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Unfortunately, found out it's a big deal. Again, he got the double boots right down on his chest. That table snapping in half, probably banging him on the back of the head. And again, Staples, not a little man. It's a lot of power coming down on you. Each of the days, someone finds the skeleton in Staples' closet. They find all the fucks that are used to give up. <laughs> There's not a single fuck that's given today. And I don't see them give it very often. So... Well, the crowd showed a little bit of love for more. If he put in a good show, both Arkham and Shane White are eliminated earlier. And the Legacy Table Match, THE Table Match. I write it off to Rust. I write it off to Rust. Major Morpheus Morenzi has been off the regular competition. Sure enough. Sure to say 2009. We'll get him some WD-40. He'll be fine. Well, you could use a tune-up after this one. That's a damn certain. Amen and hallelujah, Jerry. 